right, my friends, I'm going to share with you guys today uh, some of my favorite things to do from the arm drag. The arm drag is such a useful weapon for self-defense in jiu-jitsu. Man, there's so many applications, but I'm going to show you my five favorite things or the five things that I do the most with the arm drag. Okay. The first thing we want to do is start out with a drill. So you don't have to be fast to, to use the arm drag, but you have to be efficient and you have to practice it. Okay, so my favorite way of practicing this is just from a self-defense situation where somebody comes up and pushes our shoulder. So what I want to do is actually let my shoulder collapse like this here. I'm in base, but I'm not going to resist the push. So when she goes to push, my hand comes right here and I come here underneath the elbow. I pass it across and I drag and I step with the outside leg. So if she pushes here, wrist to wrist, I pass it through and I step, okay? Now, when you're doing this a little bit more real speed, okay, let's turn this angle a little bit. What you'll find is that if your partner is smaller than you, like Mandy is, you're gonna pull them more, okay? So when she goes to push, and I do this in real time, you see how I pulled her quite a bit. Now, if she did this to me, she may not pull me as much. So if her hand comes inside like this and then passes across, she may not pull me as much, but she's gonna pull herself quite a bit. Okay, so that's kind of the cool thing about the, the arm drag, whether we're doing it on the ground or from the standing position. If your partner's bigger than you, you're gonna pull yourself more than you do your partner. If your partner's smaller than you, you're gonna pull them more, okay? Just based on base and, and, and size and everything, okay? So once again, she goes here like this, wrist to wrist. I parry it across. I use the monkey grip here. As I, as I bring it across my hips, I'm gonna grab right above the elbow and I pull and I step, okay? So that's the first part, simple drill that you can do back and forth with your partners. And eventually, once you get the technique down, once you start slow, slow is smooth, smooth is fast, okay? So start slow, so when they push, I collapse that shoulder. The nice thing about collapsing the shoulder when they go to push is that it's kind of like when you go to push open a heavy door, you expect resistance there. So when you lean into it, right, and you go to push in, let's say somebody on the other side of the door pulls the door open, what happens? You find yourself off base, okay? So that's what she's kind of experiencing here. She feel, she, she assumes gonna be, there's gonna be resistance, but when that resistance collapses, her weight kind of comes forward on her toes and it allows me to pull her off balance, okay? So just practice that back and forth with your partner Okay, and eventually you can start, you know, kind of randomizing it. She comes up, I collapse the shoulder, parry, and pull, okay? So, that's the first part of the drill. Next, a very, my favorite self-defense application to the arm drag here is like this. And this will work whether they're pushing on one shoulder or both, okay? I can just decide to do one. All right, so when we do that, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let that shoulder go back. I pass it across, and as soon as I pass it across, I'm gonna go right here to her, her, the base of her back, and this arm's gonna come right here, like this. Now, you can bring that person down to the floor, and you can finish a choke there, or, very simply, if the door's there and I need to get out, see ya, right? I can just go, all right? But the choke, has a lot of application. I can bring them to the floor or I can come here and I can hang them here. I put my hand behind my head. So I basically have a rear naked choke. Let's turn this way. I basically have a rear naked choke here like this, but I'm gonna put this hand behind my head and I use that in my hip. My hip kind of pushes in like this. So let's say there's multiple attackers, somebody's around. I can use her as a shield. Not that I would ever do that. But you guys get the idea, right? I can make the choke happen just by putting my hand behind my head. I have my other arm to defend and move and I have good base. But you need to off balance them. So let's look at it from this angle. She goes to push here. I drag, boom, right to the neck and the base of the back here, okay? So you can bring them down to the floor. You can finish there. You can put the knee in the back. You can put the hooks in, whatever. World's your oyster, okay? So that's probably my favorite application from the standing position, self-defense. Now, more sportive aspect, my favorite, one of my favorite takedowns is off the arm drag, okay? And this can happen in a lot of situations. So she could already have a grip here and I could break the grip 
and then arm drag. Okay, you see I just, I fed it across. Cause she's probably not in a competitive standpoint, probably not gonna come up to push. She may reach up to grab. So if I come here like this and I break this grip, I'm gonna pass this across and grab here. Now what you're almost always gonna have is a retraction. They feel that and they pull back. And when, they, when you feel that pull back, What's happening is the weight's going back to their heel, okay? So let's turn this direction a little bit, all right? So over here, I'm gonna take you down that direction. So when I break this grip and I pass it here and I feel that resistance, I'm gonna take this leg, I'm gonna throw it all the way inside. My heel's gonna go all the way around, hook her foot, the heel of her foot right behind my knee, okay? So this is what it looks like. I break the grip, I drag, she pulls, and I step in and I come here like this, okay? Now, what you'll notice when I finish that takedown is that I didn't stay, I didn't hang on the arm. If I hang on the arm too long, when this leg goes through here and we drive forward like this, if I hang out here too long, she's gonna run to my back, okay? So, what I wanna do with that arm, as soon as I get the pull and the retraction, this arm's gonna come across their, their waist, okay? So let's come back this way again. So I'm gonna break the grip, I hook, this leg is gonna go all the way around. I take this foot, I don't stop it on the floor. My foot goes all the way behind me and I'm gonna catch her heel right behind my knee, okay? So here, break, hook, arm drag, hook, the arm comes to the outside. So once I start to drag, this arm comes to the outside of her hip and now we're on the ground and we can start, you know, playing there. So that, those are my two favorite from the standing position. One's a self-defense application. One's a little bit more sportive takedown. Now let's go to the ground and see what we can do with the arm drag there. Okay, all right, now what we're gonna cover now is some of my favorite applications to the arm drag on the bottom. In the guard, there's four main things you can do in the guard. You can submit them, right? You can sweep them, which puts you on the top. You can stand up from the guard. You can escape, you know, come back up to your feet. Or you can take their back, all right? Taking the back is a fantastic option from the guard and the arm drag is a great way to do it. So the first one we're gonna do here is very simple. So let's, let's turn over to this side here, please. So I'm gonna be in a butterfly situation. I'm kind of sitting up here. We can just practice, practice it this way. You don't have to do it from this specific situation, but this kind of lends itself to um, the arm drag option. So when, when they grab the pants like this, I'm gonna do a very similar thing that I did from the standing position. I'm gonna come here, but I'm gonna let my drag actually break the grip. So I'm gonna kick out. So I'm gonna use this grip here, okay? Monkey hook right behind the elbow. And I'm gonna feed this across as I kick this leg out and I drag her by me. Now, I'm kind of in a hurdler stretch here in this situation that allows me to lift up and get this seatbelt position. Now, you have a lot of options. I can pull her back this direction or I can jump over to the opposite side and throw the hook in. Either one is fine. Let's spin this direction so they can see this way, all right? So I start here in the butterfly situation. I'm gonna grab, hook, and the grip is partly from the kick out, like this. So I kick this leg out, I dig this foot into the floor, and that helps pull me into this position. Be sure not to pull yourself down like this. I don't wanna be on my elbow. I wanna be upright like this so I can lift up. So without her there, it looks like this. I grip, hook, kick out. As I kick out to break the grip and drag the arm, I dig this foot into the floor. This one's already connected. I pull myself like this. And then I lift to get that seatbelt connection. Now you've already got one hook in, in that scenario, and that's good. And so then you can chase the back. You can either throw the hook in, pull them to the side, or just start attacking their neck right away, okay? Now, what happens quite often is that person will drive back into you. They know that you're taking their back. So if I get to this position here and I don't quite bring myself up quick enough or they respond quicker when they, and they drive into me to put me back on my back, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go with it. I'm gonna hold her hip. I'm gonna let it happen. I'm gonna use the hook that's already inside. As she drives into me, I come this way and I lift and then we can come up on top, okay? So it's basically an elevator sweep, okay, option, where I come here, they drive in, okay, I just go with the momentum. She wants to push me back, I'll go with it, I'll hook the hip here, 
hook underneath the knee and lift and then try to come up on top. One more time. So I'm here, let's spin this way a little bit. So here, I drag, she drives in, I drop, I, I switch. Lift, and then we can come up to the mount position, side control, whatever the offer is, all right? So, um, there's two great options, kind of a great sequence. Um, one, other, one other thing that I like to do a lot um, from the arm drag situation is the arm tuck arm lock. One of the tightest arm locks we have in Jiu Jitsu, um, a lot of different applications. Sometimes you can hit it from that sequence right there. Um, or if you're in the close guard, okay? So let's go to the close guard for a second. And if I'm able to get this arm drag here, a lot of different ways to do it, okay? I can just come here and drag. And I'm, what I'm gonna do here, let's turn this way just a little bit. What I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna pretend like I'm going for the back, which I, I really would be. If she stays here and lets me take the back, of course I'm gonna do it. But a lot of times they're not going to, they're gonna drive into you. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this arm, I dig under here like this. So I'm already here, the wrist is already down. I dive this arm underneath and I hook. I walk my legs up, I make a gable grip here. I put this elbow right against her face to turn her head that way. I walk my legs up, I pass the leg over. Be careful here, all you need to do is squeeze your knees. And that's it. So keep your elbow tight to your hip. You've got the wrist trapped here like this, a very, very tight arm lock, okay, when it's tucked underneath like this. So keep the elbow tight to your hip, squeeze your knees together, and that's it. Okay, so again, all I need to do is make a frame with my elbow, push your head that direction, pass the leg over, make sure this leg is up tight across your back, and then squeeze the knees for the arm lock, okay? One of my favorite arm locks, super tight, hard to defend, okay? It's a, it's a, it's a fantastic, um, where you want? Go over there? Okay. Fantastic arm lock. Um, give those tips a try. Um, those five applications are probably my favorite. Uh, the, again, the arm drag is so useful. There's so many uh, variations and things that you can do with it. Uh, but one of the best things about it is it's a very efficient way to expose your opponent's back, which puts them on the reaction side of the, of the situation. And so anytime you have them reacting to your attack, that's a great thing. Okay, so give those things a try. Like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And let us know what you think. And uh, we'll see you soon. Okay, all right. I lied. One bonus technique. This is actually a really cool uh, thing to pull off. Um, and I think I picked this up from watching Marcelo Garcia or something. I don't know. But anyway, it's really, really fun. If you pull this off, you're the hero for class. Okay, so here it is. We're gonna start in the butterfly position. I'm gonna get the arm drag situation here like this. I pull, and instead of kicking this leg out like we did earlier, I'm gonna grab Mandy's belt, okay? Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull her over top of me like this, lift my legs, I let this one slip like this. So I'm gonna go here, lift, switch, and go right to her neck, okay? So let's turn this way a little bit so everybody can kind of see the, the uh, let's go back just a little bit there, okay? All right, so here, Arm drag, grab the belt, pull them over top, but be strong with your legs, okay? Lift up, let the one slip and come right to their neck. Here, boom, catch the rear naked choke. On the arm drag and butterfly situation, you're a hero, that's it. You can retire, all right? So anyway, thanks for watching guys, we'll see you soon.